in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, I exhort therefore that, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of times be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Father, show me what I need to do to receive your blessings. In the name of Jesus, Father, show me what I need to do to receive your blessings. Show me what I need to do to receive your blessings. Show me what I need to do to receive your blessings. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. I hope you are blessed by some of our video broadcasts in this channel. I pray that the Lord Almighty will continue to reveal secret things to you and give you the solutions to your problems in Jesus' name. We are looking at a very important topic. Try this if prayers and fasting doesn't work for you. Try this if prayers and fasting doesn't work for you. You have been praying and you have been fasting. It seems that the more you pray, the more you fast, the harder it becomes for God to answer your prayers. You discover that your prayers no longer have any effect on your life. You discover that you have been laboring in vain in the place of prayer and fasting. You embarked on three day fasting, no results. 12 day fasting, no results. 7 day fasting, no results. 70 day fasting, no results. 100 day fasting, no results. Many times you begin to wonder or imagine what is going on behind the scene that you do not know. Other people are praying and fasting. And they are seeing the result of their prayers. But you, that you came from a Christian home, it's as if you are having issues with God. I want to let you know that you are not having issues with God. There are many ways in which God Almighty can answer our prayers. Yes, through fasting, through praise and worship, through prayers, and through so many things. Adopt them. Attach your faith in it, you know, and believe that God will do it. There are some people, God is expecting them to do a certain thing. Yes, he has been telling them, he has been revealing to them, you have to do this particular thing before your ways can be opened. But you do not even know whether the Holy Spirit is talking to you. Many people know that a certain spirit, maybe the Holy Spirit is directing them or instructing them to do certain things, but they are not obeying the voice. They are not doing that thing. And that is why things are not going well for you. I pray by the grace of God, as from today, the Lord Almighty will have mercy upon you in Jesus' name. Number one thing that you need to do if prayer and fasting have frustrated you is be a giver. Be a giver. You must give out. And when you give out, you will receive. Be a giver to a ministry. Be a kingdom builder. Give people easily. Give cheerfully. Don't give out of necessity or grudgingly. Give cheerfully. Giving is just like an attitude. Giving should be like a habit within your spirit. If prayer and fast doesn't work, imbibe that spirit of giving. Anybody that does little for you, give out. Giving can attract mercy. Giving can attract blessings. Giving can allow the Spirit of God to answer your prayers, your heart desires. Giving can open doors. Giving can open our ways. Giving can attract good people towards us. When you are a giver, people will remember you in the time of your lack, in the time of your challenges. Be a giver. Many people are not true givers. And that is why things are not moving smoothly in their life. You have been focusing yourself only on prayer and fasting. Giving is another channel through which God looked at to grant his children heart desires. Today, I want to encourage you to start that giving spirit. Have that giving ability. 
give out. Don't give because you want to receive something from that person. But to give out because God has said it that we should give. When you give, your giving is doing so many things for you in the realm of the spirit. Your giving is silencing your mockers. When you are a giver, you are telling the devil that you, you are a leader. Givers never lack. So you must ask the Holy Spirit to give you that grace of giving. And as you give, the Lord will grant your heart desires in Jesus' name. Number two thing that you need to do if prayer and fasting doesn't work for you is love people. Love people. Do not love only yourself alone. Love yourself and love other people around you. Love can attract the mercy of God. Love can attract joy. Love can attract open doors. Love can make the Holy Spirit to answer our prayers. You must love people unconditionally. Loving is not only man and woman. Loving is everybody encompasses. You must love people. Love them. Love people. If prayer and fasting doesn't work for you, try as much as possible to love people. If you see somebody that does not have good clothes to put on, buy clothes for them. Buy gifts for them. Make them happy. Be the reasons why Jesus Christ loves them. Do not see your brothers or sisters and begin to ignore them. Be your brother's keeper. Let charity begin at home. Your family are suffering, but you are giving out gifts to orphanage homes. I'm not against that. But let charity begin at home. Love your neighbors. Love those people around you. Love your friends. Even though they are your enemies, but you must love them. But you must not trust them. Love people. Loving people alone can attract the Spirit of God to have mercy upon you and to answer your prayers. Many Christians do not understand this mystery of God answering their prayers. If prayer doesn't work for you, if fasting doesn't work for you, if praise and worship doesn't work for you, try this. Love people. Love them. Allow people to come and visit you in your house. Good people. Do not block people from coming to your house to come and visit your husband. Allow them to come. Because these people that you are loving or you are rejecting, they may have the spirit or the grace of God upon them. Some people, once they enter your house, they bring blessings. Things begin to flow. Love people wholeheartedly, unconditionally. Do not love people based on material things, based on their words, based on one thing or the other. Love people because it is written in the Bible that we should love our neighbor. We should do everything in love. Love people. Love people. Love people. Do not hate people. Love them. And as you do this, your prayers will be answering. And you'll be moving forward and you'll be progressing in Jesus' name. Number three things that you need to do if prayer and fasting have discouraged you is you must praise and worship God. Praising and worship God. David praised God. David worshiped God. He sang praises unto God. He danced. He rejoiced unto him. In the midst of rejoicing, he trusts in the Lord. In the midst of waiting, he keeps on increasing his faith through singing unto the Lord. God cannot block all channels to answer his prayers. If he does not answer your prayers in fasting, in giving, try as much as possible. Go and praise and worship God. Sing high praises to God. Worship him. In the midst of worshiping God, your sorrow will be taken away from you. You will not be burdened again. That heaviness will be taken away from you. Praise and worship God. Praise Him. Prayer works. Fasting works. Everything works. But if all those things are not working out for you, try praise. Worship God. Every day. Every night. Every morning. Praise and worship God. Oh, heartedly. And the Lord Almighty will use that praise and worship to make things to work out for you in Jesus' name. Number four things you need to do if prayer and fasting have frustrated you is you need to live a righteous life. Righteous life. Live a life that is right with God. Live a righteous life. Let people know you for who you are. If you are A at home, be A everywhere you go, even in your church. Be truthful. Be transparent. Carry the fruit of the Spirit. 
do not let people see you and begin to say, Jesus Christ, I can never go back to Jesus Christ again. Carry the identity of Christ. When you live a holy life, living a holy life alone can attract the mercy, the blessings, and the miracle of God upon your life. Living a righteous life alone, even without praying, living a righteous life, living a clean life, a pure life, a life devoid of sin and wickedness. When you are having a right standing with God, God will draw you closer to Him. And when God draw you closer to Him, what happens? He begins to give you so many things that you are requesting Him to do for you. Live a righteous life. A righteous life is profitable. Worship God. Sing praises unto Him. Pray very well. Love people. Give out and try as much as possible to live a holy life. And as you do this, the Lord Almighty will show you mercy in Jesus' name. Number five, lastly, you must help people. Help them, not because they are very close to you. Help them, not because they are your lover, they are your boyfriend or girlfriend. Help them because Jesus says we should help people. Help people. I have some people, they don't pray, they don't fast, they don't go to church, they don't go for midnight prayers, but the work they are doing is to help people. Help people. They can just look at a person, ah, this person deserves this, this person is lacking this. Let me give this person this thing. And this person will appreciate this, those things. Help people. Invest on people. Make people smile. When you see a child crying with that parent, and God has placed you in a position where you can love and cater for those children. Why not? Love people. Help them. Invest on their future. Invest on their destiny. And as you do all those things, you are telling God that, God, these are the things I'm doing. God will surely remember you. A giver. You love people. You praise and worship God. You fast and pray. God will surely remember you. And you live a holy life. I'm telling you the fact. It's a secret. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. It's a secret. You can't be saying, God, answer my prayer, and your heart is deceitful. You have a wicked heart. You have a sinful heart. You are doing some things, negative things, hidden, secretly. God will not hear your prayers. Live a righteous life. Be prayerful. Sing unto the Lord. Worship Him. Do not lean on depend on your own understanding on that problem. Cast those things unto God and the Lord Almighty will take away those problems and it will give you the joy, the peace and the success you are requesting him to give you in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes and take the following prayer upon loud and clear. Prayer upon number one. Say, Father, strengthen my faith and help me not to give up. In the name of Jesus, Father, strengthen my faith and help me not to give up. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, strengthen my faith and help me not to give up. Help me not to give up. In the name of Jesus, Father, strengthen my faith and help me not to give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. In Jesus' name. Two, Holy Ghost, hear my cry of help and rescue me from my pain. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, Hear my cry of help and rescue me from my pain. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, hear my cry of help and rescue me from my pains. Rescue me from my pains. Holy Ghost, hear my cry of help and rescue me from my pains in Jesus' name. Three, Holy Spirit, I am ready to do what you ask me to do. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I am ready to do what you ask me to do. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I am ready to do what you ask me to do. I am ready to do what you ask me to do. I am ready to do what you ask me to do. In Jesus' name. For, O God, arise and turn my labor to favor. In the name of Jesus. O God, arise and turn my labor to favor. Turn my labor to favor. Turn my labor to favor. In the name of Jesus. O God, arise and turn my labor to favor. Turn my labor to favor. In Jesus' name. Five, my angels of success, arise and release success to me. In the name of Jesus, 
my angels of success, arise and release success to me. In the name of Jesus, my angels of success, arise and release success to me. Release success to me. Release success to me. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Reke. God bless you.